PR colleagues, esteemed uh, participants of the awards ceremony, welcome. My name is Harris Lizidakis and I am the CEO of Wonka. It is my pleasure to introduce you the president of the uh, World Organization of Family Doctors, Dr. Donald Lee. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the honors and awards ceremony. The fellowship of Wonka is the most prestigious award bestowed upon individuals who have rendered outstanding services to the organization. The following are the colleagues that were awarded with fellowship. Wonka past president, Amanda Howe, United Kingdom. Thank you. Karen, Karen Marie Flagg, Australia. Thank you, everyone. All right, Kishan Asmadi, Jordan. Sandara Nada Arurad, India. Kanu Bala, Bangladesh. Amanda Barnard, Australia. Ming-Chi Lee, Taiwan. Hi, my pleasure. Hi, my pleasure. Hi, my pleasure. Hi, my pleasure. Christopher Frank Doig. United Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Felicity and Good Year Smith, New Zealand. Thank you. Douglas Henley, United States of America. Thank you, Don. I'm truly honored. Thank you very much. Garth Manning, United Kingdom. Hi, Donald. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks to everybody. Maria Inez Padula Anderson, Brazil. Hello, thank you. I'm very grateful. Riaz Kurashi, Pakistan. Keishi Ranjan, Sri Lanka. Joseph Scott Jones, New Zealand. Caroline Ruth Wilson, Canada. Hello, friends, and thank you, Wonka. Keys Cornelis van Boven. Netherlands. 
Well, thank you. I'm Fernie Lawrence. John Wynne Jones, United Kingdom. Thank you, uh, Donald. Thank you, Walker. I'm humbled and terribly honored. Thank you very much. Mm. And two, I believe, who are unable to join us Barbara Jean Doty, United States. Warish Kidwai, Pakistan. Thank you so much. I'm online. Thank you so much. I'm truly obliged. Thank you. We would also like to honor the following colleagues who have passed away with the fellowship. Oyega Abdubola Ogambanjo of Nigeria. George Samuel Ferrison, South Africa. Patrick Che Kariruke, Kenya. I would now like to introduce Henri Life Direct individual members. Honorary Life Direct Individual Membership may be awarded to individuals in recognition of their contribution to the work of the organization and or to general practice family medicine on a world basis. Shabilal Abhikari, Bhutan. Hi friends, thank you Donald, thank you Wonka. I'm really honored. Thank you so much. Nirmalaf Joseph Kamura Mendes, Sri Lanka. Kaya Mevyana, South Africa. Thank you very much, Donald. Thank you very much. Shela Nasim, Pakistan. Atap Prasad, Nepal. Hi, Donald. Hi, everyone. Thank you to Anka. It's my pleasure and honor. Thanks to Unka. Imra Rurik, Hungary. It is a great honor for me to get in this award. I am very happy that Unka appreciated the previous decades I've spent in primary care and in different organizations. Thank you again. Donlak, Suwishi, Thailand. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you all again. Pierre Johans Truta de Villiers, South Africa. Next, we present Wonka's award Five Star Doctors Award. Wonka's Award of Excellence in Healthcare is called the Five Star Doctor Award. It is awarded annually by each region with all regional winners going forward for consideration for the Global Five Star Doctor Award made at the Wonka World Conference. A five star doctor must be a care provider, decision maker, a communicator, community leader, and a manager. In the past three years of the Wonka regions have awarded 13 outstanding colleagues with a regional award. The nominating and awards committee reviewed them and made 
its recommendation to council to endorse Dr. Anagiros Mariolis from Greece as the recipient of the Global Five Star Award. Congratulations. Wonka has also recently established the Rising Star Award. This award is based on Wonka's Five Star Doctors Award, and its purpose is to recognize a young doctor who has demonstrated a drive for excellence in healthcare. The award is in the form of certificates, will be handed during the Wonka World Conference biennial. This award can be awarded annually by each Young Doctors Movement with all. YDM regional winners going forward for consideration for the Wonka World Rising Star Award. The first winner is Noor Hazana from Malaysia. Thank you very much, uh, Donald. Thank you, Wonka, and it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Now, before I hand over to our new president, I would like to deliver a farewell remarks uh, and speech. Can we have the video, please? When my term as president of Wonka started in Seoul in October 2018, I set out my commitment. When my term as president of Wonka started in Seoul in October 2018, I set out my commitment to grow understanding of the crucial contribution of family medicine to achieving universal health coverage, respecting the past, and having ambition for the future. I said at that time. Wonka has an impressive history of advocacy and professionalism in primary care. This is an important time for family doctors to influence global policy to ensure comprehensive, integrated primary care is available to every person. Family medicine, delivered by professionally qualified primary care teams, will de deliver that. It is more important than ever that the voice of family doctors is part of the global discussion and is central to the implementation process. I committed back then to work closely with WHO so as to influence global policy for primary care development. I committed to spearheading the Wonka accreditation schemes, both for postgraduate residency programs and for individual clinics and clinical practices. I committed to actively engaging Wonka with developments in artificial intelligence so that we could influence those developments rather than reacting to them. And I promised to raise the profile of disaster risk reduction and disaster preparedness, linking the work of a number of Wonka working parties and special interest groups. Well, that was in 2018. No one could have predicted what was going to materialize across the world, affecting each and every one of us both professionally and personally. I don't think anyone would argue that the term of my presidency has been one of the most challenging times in our history. Wonka has faced many challenges over the years, usually financial. But the challenge of COVID has been a very different type of challenge. And despite all the effort required by large numbers of people, and despite the significantly increased workload for every single one of our members, I'm proud to report that the sense of family in Wonka has been strengthened through the global crisis. Members from across the globe came together officially and unofficially to share their knowledge, their expertise, their sympathy, and their empathy. Research developed in one country was rapidly shared with others. Experiences and challenges were shared to try to alleviate some of the worst consequences of the pandemic. Our working parties and special interest groups cooperated 
and collaborated as never before. And we all benefited from that collaboration. As I come to the end of my unexpectedly extended term of office, I want to reflect on what we have achieved as an organization. I want to pay my respects and say a number of thank yous. But before I do that, I want to make a big apology on your behalf to Anna Stafton. Anna has been patient beyond belief in waiting to take on her role as president of our Wonka family. Her time as president-elect was also unexpectedly extended, and I know she has plenty of plans to continue her work and carry it forward. I'm grateful to Anna too. We worked well together with our skills and enthusiasm complementing each other. Before the pandemic started, I'm pleased to report that I was able to visit some of our regions. Right up until 2019, international travel was normal and we were able to participate in some face-to-face -face visits, such as to Canada, Africa, and Lahore for conferences. Our executives met face-to-face, -face, both in Beijing and Bangkok. Once the pandemic took hold of our lives, we were faced with webinar after webinar and Zoom meetings became our usual mode of contact. As I said right at the onset, it wasn't all that bad. There were so many examples of fantastic support offered and given between our colleagues across the globe through the work and research of many of our working parties and special interest groups. And the benefits of those collaborations and the friendships and support groups which developed have enhanced the work of our organization. While we were disappointed at the absence of reference to any of the professional members of primary care teams in the Astana Declaration, we knew how important the declaration was and is to the achievement of Sustainable Development Goal 3 and to the achievement of universal health coverage. Some of us were privileged to be at the launch of the Astana Declaration in October 2018, and a number of our members worked closely with the team assembled by WHO to develop the drafts of the declaration. I'm hopeful that real energy will be given by WHO and its member states to follow up on the promises made by all nations at that momentous occasion. One of our big achievements over the last three years has been the launch and rollout of our accreditation programs. In the past three years, we have developed, refined, and launched and further refined our program accreditation and our practice accreditation schemes. From the feedback we've received, each of the themes is much appreciated, both by those who want to use the freely access accessible guidelines and for those who want to go through the formal accreditation process. I want to thank our working parties on education and on quality and safety, in particular for the input into both our accreditation programs, some of whom continue to act as assessors for us. Program accreditations have been undertaken in China, Japan, Canada, and the US. Proof that they are applicable in different contexts with those who have good, well-established national standards and those who do not. Practice accreditation has been undertaken thus far in China. We welcome applications for both accreditation schemes from any of our global family medicine colleagues. With their budget conscious hats on, I can hear our current and our immediate past CEO and our honorary treasurer reminding me that our accreditation schemes have also become an important stream of income for Wonka, especially since income from conferences has been so seriously depleted. We will continue to offer these accreditation screens to family doctors, family practices, and university departments in the coming years. And on the topic of Wonka finances, I'm very happy to report that our finances have become healthier during my term in office, having been honorary treasurer and then president-elect and president, I'm well aware how fragile our finances have been in the past. It is good news that we have stabilized them and that we have reserves in place to guard against times when income reduces. I hope they can grow further as we emerge from the pandemic. 
Through the efforts of our working party on e-health, Wonka has developed criteria and standards for new AI systems, which are targeted at delivery of primary care. As I've said on numerous occasions, AI will never replace the human doctor sitting face to face with a patient, offering integrated comprehensive primary care services. But it is important that as family doctors, we're open to exploring the possibilities the new technology offers. It is equally important that we are at the forefront of development of any scheme for primary care so that we can influence and advise on the system rather than having to react to a system which has developed with little or no input from real family doctors with real experience of face-to-face -face patient consultation. I'm happy to report that the criteria are being further developed and I look forward to Wonka being able to offer an accreditation scheme for primary care focused AI systems in the near future. Our work on disaster risk reduction and encouragement to all family doctors to get involved in disaster preparedness at local level was and continues to be timely. I've worked on this issue for a number of years and it is an issue I will continue to work on when my role as president is over. I think more people than ever understand just how important being prepared really is. Our working parties and special interest groups provide the examples and the evidence of the incontrovertible benefits of providing patient-centered comprehensive primary care. With their evidence and other reliable sources of data, we will continue to use our influence with policymakers at the highest levels in individual countries and globally to achieve a world with a family doctor and primary care team available and accessible to everyone. I particularly want to applaud our working parties and SIGs, some of which really extended the reach during the pandemic, not least the Working Party on Quality and Safety. I am impressed by the emergence of so many Google groups and other groups which share their knowledge and skills across a range of primary care interests. This increased activity is beneficial to all of us and reinforces our connectedness. In the context of global policymakers, our work with WHO has expanded year on year. Certainly, the establishment of a primary care team for the first time ever at WHO helped us to reinforce our message. The MOU we signed with WHO in January 2019 about collaborative working was an important and useful step. It has helped us gain prominence and professional recognition in the global health policy arena. As a result of the signing of the MOU, WHO headquarters encouraged their regional and national WHO officers to engage directly with Wonka representatives. This helped to facilitate enhanced interaction, and in some countries and regions, it facilitated the first tentative steps to working together. Once the pandemic is over, I hope that we can redouble our engagement to influ influence policy and strategic development at country and regional levels with WHO and with other world actors. Of course, while WHO is very important, it is not the only global organization of relevance to primary care. The global goal of achieving universal health coverage will not be possible without delivering comprehensive primary care. And as I have said many times before, comprehensive primary care cannot be achieved without family medicine. Many of the global development partners have slowly started to realize this and hope that as we resume our face-to-face -face activities and with the important outputs from our various working parties and SIGs, that we can position ourselves alongside some of these big players and build productive partnerships with them to support expansion of primary care globally. As happens after every World Council, our world executive is going through a major transition. Regional presidents change with new and re-elected member at large, we have a new young doctor's representative, and we have a new president-elect. I'm delighted we had so many applicants for the position on World Executive. The numbers and the quality of applicants for the position of president-elect, for the members at large, 
and for the young doctors representatives reflects a healthy and growing interest within our membership in holding office and becoming leaders of work. For all those elected to the position on ex executive, it is a huge honor. But let me be clear, it is also a huge responsibility. Gaining that position on executive is not an end in itself. There's a significant amount of work to do and executive members are the individual tasked to do it on behalf of our organization. It is challenging. Getting to know and understand the detailed organizational policies and the bylaws, both of which regulate our work and ensure good governance is an important process. And it is important that our new members learn quickly. Getting to understand our finances and the challenges we face is not only the role of the CEO and the honorary treasurer, but it's the responsibility of all executive members. So I thank each of our regional presidents and I thank each of those who stood for election as member at large, as young doctor representative, and as president elect. And I congratulate those of you who voted into office. I'm really sorry that you won't have the opportunity to meet face to face and enjoy the handover process in the same way that we did in 2018. As we move our organization forward over the coming years, recovering and growing, I look forward to seeing what can be achieved by our new executive dedicated to Wonka and working together to build our organization for this generation and for the future. It has been a memorable term of presidency and I thank you all for your support. It now gives me much pleasure to introduce the new president of Wonka, Dr. Anna Stafter. Anna. What a moment to perform my first official duty as Wonka president. Donald. How can I possibly express my gratitude to you on behalf of Wonka and on behalf of myself? You had, as we've heard, well-developed plans when you started your term as president in October 2018. Then suddenly in March last year, everything came grinding to a halt. You shifted course immediately, giving crisis management top priority. You were clearly the right person to have at the Wonka helm just then. Not surprising, given your expertise in emergency and catastrophe medicine. You were not only flexible, but also generous. You had been expecting to retire in 2020, but you agreed to stay on as president for one more year. Thanks also to the solidarity of our member organizations, we could put off our council and world conference and postpone the inauguration of a new president until today. The differences in our backgrounds and experience have proved fruitful, as you just said, and I've learned so much working with you. We found ways to complement each other, respecting each other's views so that our disagreements when they occurred never turned into conflicts. Thank you, Donald. I wish you all the best with whatever you choose to do next. But do let me remind you, no one in our line of work ever really retires. You'll still be with us now as our immediate past president and well beyond that, I am sure. I trust and count on your continuity of care for Wonka. Now, it is my great pleasure to present to you the award of the Wonka Honorary Life Direct Membership. Congratulations, Donald, and thank you again. Now, dear colleagues, dear friends, estimados colegas, queridos amigos, to be inaugurated as president of Wonka for the next biennium makes me proud, happy, and humble. 
It's time to make more expressions of gratitude. Now, first to Garth Manning. Congratulations, Garth, on your well-deserved Wonka Fellowship Award. During the pandemic, you were retiring after eight years as Wonka CEO. I know you're enjoying your retirement, but I also know you're keeping an eye on what's happening in the global community of family medicine, not least through Wonka accreditation activities. It's been almost a year since you stepped down, Garth, but it's not too late for me to say what a pleasure it has been getting to know you and to work with you. I've enjoyed your sense of humor and benefited greatly from your sharing the knowledge and experience you accumulated during a long life in and with family medicine worldwide. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. A few days ago, we concluded our first virtual World Council meeting. The proceedings went smoothly. I assure you that didn't happen all by itself. The Secretariat, led by Harris Ligidakis, has had their hands full. They not only worked out the technicalities, such as adjusting for all our time zones, but they also succeeded in setting up an agenda that took into consideration as many of our wishes and demands as possible. You've certainly fulfilled the requirements of your job description, Harris, including overseeing the Secretariat's relocating from Bangkok to Brussels. No small task under any circumstances, and the restrictions imposed by the pandemic did not make it one whit easier. A big thank you and well done. At this point, I'd also want to express big thank yous to the full rank of past presidents for their support during what has become years. Time now to look ahead. It's my privilege to present to you this next biennium's Wonka Executive Committee members. I welcome Dr. Donald Lee, Wonka Immediate Past President. Associate Professor Karen Flegg, Wonka President-Elect. Dr. Dan Abu Bakar, Wonka Africa Region President. Professor Mohamed Husni Yamal, Wonka Asia Pacific Region President. Professor Tagreed Farahat, Wonka East Mediterranean Region President. Professor Shlomo Winker, Wonka Europe Region President. Adjunct Professor Jacqueline Ponzo, Wonka Ibero America Region President. Dr. Jeff Markins, Wonka North America Region President. Thank you. Dr. Tariq Aziz, Wonka South Asia Region President. Professor Maria Pilar Astier Pena, Member at Large. Professor Val Was, member at large. <coughs> Professor Shabir Musa, member at large. Thank you. Dr. Sanka Randeni Kumara, young doctor's representative. Thank you. Congratulations on your elections and appointments. I look forward to working with you one and all. 
You now met the Wonka leadership team. My home base is also here with me in Brussels. My true stalwart, my husband, Ola Varnen, and my one and only sister, Hilde. While my children are busy living their own interesting lives, I know they're also here with me. Without your support, I would not have been here. I send gratitude and greetings to all my Oslo practice colleagues and to you from the Norwegian College and the Nordic Federation of General Practice. Thank you all for your strong and unwavering support. It's time to go to work. Uh, leading Wonka may seem a bit like running a relay. The baton is handed over every second year. We can then evaluate how we manage our time and resources, how best to meet the unique challenges of the day. But our vision and our mission remain unchanged. We keep on working to make Wonka a leading force in the pursuit of worldwide health for all. If you'd like to learn more about your new president's perspectives and plans, I invite you to attend the closing session of the conference tomorrow. I'll be laying out the path I envision for Wonka's next biennium. At 3.45 UTC tomorrow. See you there. Y a ustedes que hablan español estoy practicando. Hablamos pronto. Muchas gracias por su apoyo. Thank you all for your Wonka support. Estoy a su servicio. I'm at your service. Gracias and thank you. Thank you.